Hello, welcome to Flourish ICT Academy. Today we are going to be looking at new Excel functions to manipulate text like a pro. Did you know that before now we have a lot of functions that we use in Microsoft Excel to manipulate text, like concatenate, if you want to join, uh, you know, cells together, you want to join two value in different cells together, we use concatenate. You also have the left function, we have the right function, you have the mid function, we have the sequence function, you have the search function. All of these functions are Microsoft Excel function that are being used to manipulate text. If you have been following my training or you have joined our pro class, definitely you know about all of this function that I'm talking about. But back in May 2022, Microsoft introduced several other functions to manipulate your text like a pro which means that these new functions will produce better and faster results than the previous one. And that is what we are going to be looking at in this lesson today. There are three of them that we are going to be looking at in this class today. The first one is text before, the second one is text after, and then the last one is text split. These functions are invaluable for cleaning up messy data, dirty data that are, you know, imported from different sources, and then you need to quickly restructure the data, either for report, for analysis. So I will encourage you to watch this training to the end. And if you have any question whatsoever, don't hesitate to reach out via the comment section. Now, let's get into the practical section and look at the operation of these new Excel functions to manipulate text like a pro. I'll see you at the end of the class. May 2022, new functions were introduced by Microsoft. And these functions let you return everything before or after you select a delimiter. If you want to return anything before or after a delimiter, this function can help you to achieve that with just a single line of function. Without stress, you can even split you know, entire cell into several columns based on delimiter. Now, you may wonder what do I mean by delimiter, especially if you are a beginner and then you are just uh, learning about Microsoft Excel or this is the first time of you watching my video on this platform. A delimiter is a character or sequence of characters that we actually use to mark the boundary between separate parts of your data. For example, look at this data that we have here in B2, okay? You can see that this data is separated by a comma. So this is an example of a delimiter. That's why I say it, a delimiter is a character or sequence of characters that is being used to mark the boundary, okay, between separate parts of the data. So we use comma now to mark the separate part of this particular data that I select here. So you can see that the data separate the street from the state and then from the uh, code, you know, the zip code, okay? That is actually what delimiter is. So common example of delimiter, when you hear the word there is comma, you can use comma, you can use semicolon, uh, you can use code, you know, tab, space, and then vertical bar, okay? Some people call it pipe. So we call it vertical bar is also a delimiter. So that's what delimiter is all about. And like I said, that these new functions is very important for you to be able to, you know, get the text before or after a delimiter. Now, now let's say, for example, that you have a list of customers, like I have in this table now. I just put up this data set for the purpose of this class so you can understand the text functions that we want to discuss today. And let me say it here. If your Microsoft Excel application is actually prior to 2022, when these functions were released, you might not see this text function in your Excel. So I will encourage you to, if you want to practice, that you can just, with your Microsoft account, or just create a Microsoft account, and then you can see a trial version of Microsoft 365. That will enable you to be able to demonstrate and practice with this new function. Like I said, you have a list of customer address in a single column, like you can see now, this column B, we have the list of customer addresses here, and then these are the customer name. 
Now you want to separate, uh, you know, the customer street in a separate column, uh, the state the customer belongs to, and then the zip code in also a separate column. This is where this function comes handy. Very, very important for you to be able to do that. So what do you do? Now, the first thing we are going to test is text before. That is the first function we are going to be using. Now, you can use the text before, and then it's going to return only the customer address that we have here. Let's go over that and see how it works. Text before. Remember, you start with equals to, and then you type text. Uh, Excel will give you the suggestion. This is the function we are looking for. The parenthesis is open, and then you select the column where you want the test before. This is the column B2. The next thing you are going to do, okay, from our syntax is you are going to put a comma, and then what's the delimiter? You know, we just define what delimiter is, so you should know what delimiter is all about. From here right now, remember after the street name, you have a comma. So comma is the delimiter here. So we are going to put that in quotation. Anytime you are referring to a delimiter, you are working in Excel, you actually put it in a quotation for Excel to reference it as a delimiter. So I'll just go ahead right now and then a quotation, then I put the delimiter, which is comma, and then I close the quotation again, and then I close the parenthesis. Okay, the next thing I'm going to eat now is enter on my keyboard. Now you can see from here right now, the street address that is the text before the delimiter that we select. Look at the uh, formula bar at the top. Okay, this is our formula bar, and then you can see that from the formula bar as we have here, okay, the delimiter actually, which is after the first uh, has been selected. So the next thing you need to do right now uh, is just to auto fill. If you have a lot of data that you want to do that for, and then you auto fill, and then you have all your street address you know uh been selected from the column b so this is how to use text before to be able to achieve this this is a very important text function that was just introduced by microsoft in 2022 now let's look at it what happens if i want to extract just the state okay the best way to do now is I'm going to use combination of test before and test after to be able to achieve that, to extract just the state. Now, let's see how that works. Uh, we're going to do equals to text before. Okay. And then you open your parentheses. Instead of you to make reference to the column that contain the test that you want to extract, remember, we are going to extract the state. The state is after the first delimiter, which is for example, now, Arkansas is a state over here. Colorado, Lagos, Rivers, these are the states that we want to extract from this uh, customer address. We want to extract just the state. Okay, let's do that in a state column, for example. So we start with text uh, before. Okay, and then uh, we open the parenthesis text uh, after. Yes, because... Uh, if I do test before, it's only going to give me, uh, you know, the data like we did for address, okay, which is this customer address before the delimiter. So now I want to embed test after inside because it's possible in computer, in Excel, in any other application to actually embed a function inside another function. So that's what we are trying to do here. So now we are going to do test after. Now, the next thing you are going to do, remember we have opened the first parenthesis, you open the second one, right? Now, you're going to select the text. What's the text that we, that is B2? Yes. Then you put a comma. Yeah. Now, the next thing is you are going to put the delimiter. Remember, we put it in quotation. The delimiter is comma. Okay. Then uh, you close the delimiter. After that, just close the first parenthesis that we open. This one now is just for test after, okay? Uh, then the next thing we are going to do is to use a comma, and the next delimiter, which is the, uh, after the state, we are going to indicate that now for you to work as test after. So we put that in uh, quotation as well, delimiter, then we put it in uh, quotation, 
okay and then the next thing is that you are going to close the last parenthesis that we open so now let me explain the syntax that we have in the formula by here or before then let's press enter so you can see the state is just extracted over here so i can go ahead and just auto fill and then you can see all the states has been extracted from this data set now trying to explain the function that we use in the formula by here remember mathematically and also in excel we board mass is applicable to everything that you do so what excel function is going to do here is going to deal with the bracket first which is text after let's assume that we are dealing with this particular function that is highlighted which it test after our data is in b2 what is going to happen is that it will skip the test before which is the street and then pick the states arkansas and then the zip code together so but i want something before the zip zip code so it's going to be something in between the test before and then also before the zip code so that's the reason the first function that will perform which is test after is going to do the state and the zip code together why this last uh function that we use the delimiter is now telling it to perform test before the delimiter that is test before only this remember the first function which is test after b2 is going to give you only this this is what is going to be the output all right so what it means is that test before then put all of this in the brackets all of the state and the zip code that's the way it is with the parentheses that we have used over here so what happened next is that when you now see test before so it's not going to be test before the last uh the zip code which is the state so that is how you are actually going to arrive at having uh the only the state being extracted from this data set so that is how to use test before and then test after you have a particular data like state or whatever in the middle of the test and you want to extract only that middle data that is how to go about that now the easiest one to use instead of you to use test before test after you can actually use split that is going to split all of this delimiter completely into separate colon let's see how that works which is the last one we're going to be looking at uh, test splits so test split is going to split the entire data all of them into street remember we have the street we have the state and then we have the zip code we just want to split this column into three separate column very easy to do with text split so you do text and then we do split okay and then you open the parentheses and then you select remember you put a comma and then you are going to put delimiter split based on delimiter so even if there are four delimiters here it's going to split them into four columns but right now we have three delimiter after the streets after the state and then that's all so you are going to it's going to split into three columns based on the delimiter that you have in the value in the text that you have selected so we go over again and put the delimiter over there and then we close it yeah and then we close this and you just hit enter then see what happened yeah your data is being splitted right now into three different columns which is street address, the state, and then the zip code. That is how your data is going to be splitted based on what you have selected in the function, text split function. So you can see now that overall, these functions are the test before, test after, and test split. They are invaluable for cleaning up a messy data especially if you import the data from other sources and the data are not cleansed you need to clean up the data this function will help you to be able to clean up a messy data which will then enable you to quickly you know restructure the data either for report or for analysis purpose because i may just be interested to know the number of customer per state i don't need the full address how am i going to be able to analyze this data by state without having access to uh you know this function to enable me to split the data into street address to the state or to zip code so you cannot go further to analyze your data 
based on whatever you want to do, either by street address, either by state or by zip code. I hope that is clear. Now, if you have any question regarding this function that we have just discussed or is not clear to you, don't hesitate to drop that in the comment section. Or you have my uh, WhatsApp number on the screen right here, which you can actually reach out by actually sending a message to this WhatsApp number. We are going to reach out to you and then you can also visit our website, uh, which we have on the screen right here. If you have any question or you want to make inquiry about our training, you have all of the details in that particular website. And if you have not subscribed to this channel and you are watching this training right now, what are you waiting for? Go ahead and click the subscription button now. I would also recommend that you join, you know, the community platform on our YouTube page. You have the option on your screen right now that says join. Click on that and join and you have access to a lot of perks that are not available to the public by being a member of that community. I'll be glad to help you further with your learning. Thank you for taking your learning journey uh, with Flores ICT Academy again today. See you in the next class.